Today I'm making orange chicken and we're going to be making it in the Instant Pot, but if you don't have an Instant Pot, that's okay. You can still do it. All you have to do is when I'm frying something in the Instant Pot or sauteing it, you do it on the stove in a frying pan. Everything else goes into a stock pot while I put everything in my Instant Pot. I like making recipes as healthy as possible. So for example, today we're going to be using fresh oranges to make our orange chicken. The recipe is easy to make, delicious, can be served with rice, quinoa, or brown rice, or cauliflower rice. So it covers pretty much everybody's flavors. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Why are oranges the smartest fruit? Because they can concentrate. I'd like to start off by prepping up some things first. So we're gonna start with our yellow onion. I'm gonna do some horizontal cuts and then vertical cuts. And what we wanna do here is get a nice super fine dice. Then run your knife through the onions one last time and you end up with a really fine dice. Next, we're gonna work on some ginger. We're gonna mince this, so grab your ginger and the best way to peel it is to use the back of a spoon and it just scrapes the skin right off. You're gonna need about an inch or so of that and then we'll take a microplane and we'll just microplane it. And you'll need about a teaspoon of that. Next, we'll bring on the garlic. You gotta have garlic in this. All right, we're gonna press it through a garlic press here, just like you would press the like button if you're enjoying this video. We'll be using four cloves here. And remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. So go click that and check it out. Next up is chicken. Now, hey, let me know in the comments what you pay for organic chicken, specifically thighs, uh, in your wherever you're at. I'm just curious. These happen to be bone in and skin on. I'm going to season these up a bit with a little bit of salt and garlic powder. At the Instant Pot, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the bottom of the pan, and then we're going to hit the saute button. And we're going to saute this for, you know, just about three minutes per side. We want to get a nice little golden brown on that skin. Now that the oil is hot, I'm gonna lay each piece skin side down. Now you could use boneless skinless if you had it, but I happen to have the skin on, so it works really well, because it keeps it from sticking. Okay, it's been four minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over, and you can see they stuck a little bit, but look at, we've got some nice golden brown chicken. And we'll let these go another three to four minutes. These are now seared, so I'm going to take them out and set them in a dish to keep warm. Now what we have left in the bottom of our Instant Pot is fond. See that brown stuff? It's stuck to the bottom. Well, we're going to release that and get it into our sauce. Now those onions we minced, we're going to toss those right into the pot. Now if you need to add a little more olive oil, go ahead. You don't want it to be too dry either. So I'm going to go ahead and saute these onions for about three to four minutes, scraping the bottom to pick up some of that nice fond. While we're waiting for the onions to saute, and you want to stir them regularly, uh, we'll go ahead and juice our two oranges. Oops, I almost forgot. We need the zest from one of those oranges, and it's always better and easier to zest before you juice. Okay, here we are back to our Instant Pot. I just tossed in the garlic for this and the ginger and we're gonna saute that for another minute. Make sure you keep stirring so that it doesn't burn. Now I'm adding the orange juice we just squeezed. Give it a little stir. The orange zest. I'm adding some chicken bone broth. Now we're gonna add some tamari sauce, which is a gluten-free version of soy sauce. You can use regular soy sauce if you like. And we'll toss in some ketchup, just a little bit, some rice wine vinegar, sesame oil. Now you wanna use just a little bit of this. It's pretty darn powerful. If you use too much of this, it can really overpower your dish. Then we can add a little heat by adding some sriracha sauce. And feel free to use more if you like it hot. And we'll finish it off with some honey. This is where we get that little sweetness from. 
Give this a really good stir because you want to make sure everything is well combined before you add the chicken. Okay, here goes the chicken. We'll just set it right in there and just nestle it right into the sauce. Place your lid on there, make sure your vent is on seal, and we're gonna pressure cook this for six minutes. Then we'll do a slow release for 10 minutes. It's time for chef joke number two. What did the orange say before jumping into the juicer? The zest is yet to come. To garnish up our dish, we're gonna need to chop up a little bit of green onion. It'll add some nice color and a little bit of flavor. When the chicken is done, we're going to need to thicken up its sauce. So what we're going to do is take the chicken out of the pot. That makes it easier for us to stir. And we're going to add a mixture here of cornstarch and water. You want to use cold water for this so it works well. And then just stir it up until it's combined. But for now, we're just going to set it aside. Okay, we've done our slow release of 10 minutes. And now I'm going to take the lid off and take out the chicken. Turn the Instant Pot back onto saute, and then we are gonna add the cornstarch mixture. Only pour in a little bit at a time as you whisk constantly to prevent lumps. And only add enough just to get it as thick as you want it. I ended up using all that I made, which was about two tablespoons. This is about the consistency that you want. Let this boil for about one minute, and we're ready to serve it up. I have some leftover white rice and cauliflower rice, and I'm gonna use that. I like to use a combination a lot of times so that I can cut the carbs a bit. So I'm just gonna combine the two here, and I tell you, I love it this way. You get a nice texture from the rice, and you get the nice flavor and the vegetables from the cauliflower. Here comes our tender orange chicken. I like to add that right on the plate and top it with that sauce. It's always about the sauce. This is great. I had some leftover sauce and I also saved it and used it on other dishes like just, you know, ground turkey cooked up. It adds some nice flavor to it. And there we go. We'll garnish it up with our green onions, give it a little color and flavor, and you are ready to eat. This chicken is so tender, I'm telling you. Even if you cook it on the stove, you'd have to cook it at least 30 minutes or so, longer the better, and it'll be so tender for you. That sauce has a little bit of heat, and that has that nice orange sweetness. You're going to love this dish. If you like Instant Pot recipes, you've got to try my butternut squash stew here that is made with beef, and it is phenomenal in flavor. Check it out. Click the link on the screen. It'll take you right to the video. Did you enjoy today's video? Let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.